Hello everyone and welcome back to two player career mode, this time out for the Monaco Grand Prix. If you missed the last episode at Imola, be sure to go and check it out. It ended up being a very tough race for myself. After qualifying in P11 and taking on some early damage, I made a last second strategy call to pit a couple laps earlier than planned to get an undercut on the rest of the field. This ended up working very well as I found myself in P10 once the pit stop phase was over, even after changing my front wing during the pit stop. From there it was just about maintaining pace and keeping the car on track to come home with a P9 result after Lance Stroll made a mistake at turn 1 and gifting me a free position on lap 22. Unfortunately Peter suffered an early engine failure during the race and so another 0 points scoring weekend for him and we head into this episode sitting P9 in the standings on 30 points ahead of Peter who sits P11 on 10 points. So, let's see what we can do this weekend at the Monaco Grand Prix. Alright, what are we looking at R&D-wise? Yeah, so we've got a thousand points. Williams are looking at tire wear upgrade. Okay. Are we going to do that rear wing upper flap? Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. I mean, nothing we do is going to come in for this weekend because there's not enough time. Yeah, okay. fair enough. But I think we do this because it's going to be the cheapest thing we can do. Alright, that should come in before Canada. Um, considering we've both had a few different types of failures, I reckon durability wouldn't be a bad thing to be looking at. Durability, alright. So I was thinking of doing the turbo since we have had issues with turbos. Yeah. Alright, we'll upgrade the turbo. Do we rush it and get it for um, Canada or leave it for Spain? Just because it's reliability sort of stuff, I would say don't rush it. Don't rush it. We can't afford anything else, can we? Alright, we're going to upgrade... Absolutely nothing happened heading into this weekend from anyone. Right. Probably because it was such a short gap between the weekends. Yeah, luckily there's no weather on the radar. Oh, that's good. Alright, I'm ready to go to the session when you are. Ready? Alright. And so we head into practice, and it was a rough one for myself as we head into Laraskas for the first time on my outlap here straight into the wall and damaging the front wing. So we head out again after going and getting replaced and again just locking up and having to completely pull the car to a stop to make sure we don't run into the wall there. Uh, luckily, no damage this time, so I can continue on with my track acclimatization program. As you can see here, this is directly on the next lap. And once again, just locking up, running wide and missing that section of gates. So I was really struggling. In the end, we were able to get... 5 out of 5 on the track acclimatization and get maximum resource points from it. But as we now head out for a race strategy program, once again, just running completely wide, having to pull the car up. And because we weren't going to make the delta on our first up there, I pulled straight into the pit lane to go for a fresh run. But then this happened. What? Oh, how'd you manage that? Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Oh, I wasn't paying full attention, and Hamilton came out of the pit lane. I just drove straight up behind him. Uh. So, yeah, a horrible practice session from myself in the end there, and I had to wait for the next half an hour to watch the rest of the practice session go by. Only getting resource points for the track acclimatization in the end there, so missing out on two whole practice programs. It also meant I had no tire data for the race strategy. Also wasn't too sure how my qualifying pace was going to stack up. So on the back foot, heading into the rest of this weekend as we now head into qualifying. Alright, here we go. First flying lap around Monaco. Hopefully it goes a bit better than practice. Oh, I'm slightly leaning to the wall. It's alright. Just need to finish off these last two now. Okay, Get it turned in. Front, Beautiful. Cross the line. P6. Seven tenths off of Magnuson. That's a lot of time to find. My game just crashed. It would appear so. <sighs> Alright, back in with just about enough time to go out for another lap. Our times um, are very we'll... close, did you say? No, I've not looked at them. Alright. You did a 10.33, I did a 10.35. Ooh, so it's what? what's that 200s in it? Yeah. 
Alright, here we go. Second flying lap. Luckily that disconnect didn't cost us anything in the end there. Pushing limits through turn one a bit, but don't worry about it. Unfortunately, I've lost the delta because I left the session, but it's alright. Clip the wall this time, that's good. Did, however, run very wide there. That will have cost me plenty of time. Here we go. Cross the line. P14, so Peter and I are sort of playing around with each other at the moment. This could be very close in the end. So I've not been able to improve whatsoever, so hopefully... If you get out of my way! <laughs> How's it feel? Oh. And now watch him just there stand and... there and take forever to push you in as well. Uh, and once again, an RB nearly took out one of my mechanics. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Alright, here we go. This is it. This is going to be the final push lap of the session. Big sense here. Nice. Too early there. That cost me. Of course, the big time's going to be right at the end of the lap where I made the mistake. So if we can just get there and then not make that mistake, we'll be laughing. Yeah, moment of truth here. Yeah. That was better, I think. Can't see the delta because I'm too focused on hitting the wall. It's going to be a nice improvement. Here we go. Four tenth improvement. P16. I thought it was good. 17. Oh. Here comes Peter across the line. I don't know where that's put him. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. Where'd you go? A half a second improvement, and it was still only P19. Ooh. Yeah, that was a tough session. Ooh. Lando will be regretting not going out again. Don't know why he did that. Yeah. And it's not even like that half a second improvement would have put me anywhere close to getting myself off the last row either. A tenth I'm still and over a half. A I'm still over a tenth from getting to the second last row. No. I think best I had was a P16. I just stuffed up the hairpin. But not by that much that it would have put me any higher. It was just, mm. yeah. That half a tenth, probably, to a tenth would have put me 16th at best. Well, this will be an interesting race. It's going to be a fight yeah. if we want points. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Alright. I'm just going to leave it at a default strategy for myself. Actually... I'm going to change my medium tie stem. I'm going to shorten it a little bit. Just oh, yeah? because for whatever reason they're extending that medium tire. And it looks like my hearts won't even, we're barely going to be wearing it all. So I'll just shorten that medium tie stem. So then I'm not driving on worn mediums right at the end for the last few laps. Yeah. I don't really know what to do for my strategy. Yeah, I'm just leaving it medium to hard to give myself that option for an early pit stop before I take it. Point so one Norris meters. Hit, Norris just hit the wall behind me. Oh, good. I heard it. All right, my fronts are at seventy, and my rear. Do we go for heroics into Saint Devot? Oh, point one. Let's go. Let's go. Good luck, sir. Yes. Yeah, I think we're both gonna need it here. I slept on the start. It's a shocker for Hulkenberg. I got nowhere to go though. Hey, I'm going for it. Uh-oh, we're three wide. Uh-oh. Okay, now it's three wide. On the bug, please. I don't want to be behind a hard tire runner, please. 
Got him. I'm going for Joe as well. Stuff it. Oh, I've got four damage. I just lost the rear. I think I'm currently three wide going through the head. Oh, that's good. I am, and I got squeezed in the wall. Oh, Joe's got front wing damage. What a messy start that was. Yeah. Yellow flag well, in front of me. Oh my goodness! Everyone has stopped on track. Leclerc's hit the way. The oh. red flag! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Leclerc, Leclerc was lit. Leclerc hit the wall and everyone got stuck oh, behind him. My steering wheel said P7. I was. Oh dear. Oh, it's hard to the end. It's actually just the real race. Oh my god. Thank goodness we started on the mediums. Well, there's nothing we can even do here. It's just... Go. Okay, I'm very excited to see where I'm starting. P15! Oh, okay. Everyone... Oh my god, this is literally just the real life race again. Everyone's on hards, except Ricardo's on mediums. He must have been on... Hards to start with. I'm guessing Hulkenberg's the same. Well, there goes my idea of, you know, possible early pit stop. Yeah. Remember to adjust your ERS mode and your MFD if you need to. Okay. Can we go for any dives here? Yes, we can. Going for both RBs. And now oh just... no, I've been boxed in. I wanted to go for a couple of dives, but I got boxed in. Sonoda and I are still going. Also, who DNF? Because we're short of Oh, Norris. Leclerc DNF. Oh, of course. Yeah. I've lost some time to Norris because I had to react. Oh no. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god, Sonoda won't leave me alone! <laughs> It's gonna be another red flag. It's gotta be another red flag. Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. That, that saves me that, so much. That wasn't even my fault. That was not my fault. <laughs> Sonoda and I were side by side and he hit the inside wall. Oh, thank god we can go back okay, on the hards again. That saved me so much because I went for a dive on Lando and I got my braking so wrong and I, and I pretty much T-boned Joe. Oh, good. And wiped off the other side of my front wing this time compared to what happened last time. Uh, I'm very curious. Alright, so how my many times this could happen. P12 and 30! P13! We're gonna nine. get points! <laughs> One more of these and we're good. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, oh front wing damage. I got ever so slight front wing damage as well. Oh my god, the wheel spin is nuts. I oh know, I don't know where that came from. Oh, actually, apparently it's underbody damage. I've got both. Alright, I've got to go for this or knock on. This is for points. Oh no! Because you were side by side with him, I couldn't. No, I couldn't go for my uh, uh, five. Me. Oh my god, who was that? One of the Alpines just turned. Oh, oh, he just gave me more damage, and there's a screen freeze. Are you out? No. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh. Oh my goodness, what a wreck. I'm pretty sure that was Ocon as well. Were you passing Ocon? Yeah. Okay, so it must have been Gasly then. Yeah, Gasly's right oh. behind him. Okay, slow down, slow well, down. Yeah, so it would have been Gasly. He, he tried to go around my outside at Casino. Yeah. I gave him a little bit of a squeeze. He backed out of it. Then he sent her up the inside again and gave me more side pod, right, um, floor damage. And then he kept his nose in it, even though his pro I swear his proximity arrow was, wasn't was red. So I just turned in like normal. But he must have just got an overlap on me to spear me into, like, to shove me out wide and put me in the wall. And I barely touched the wall as well. Damn. Oh my god. Bloody Monaco. <sighs> Bro, I'll be back. I'm gonna go and get some pizza. Oh, enjoy.
Well, what a start to the Grand Prix this has been. Peter's out. We've got a couple other cars out as well. Somehow, we're in the points. I doubt I can get any more than this. I've got a small bit of front wing damage on the front right there, and also um, underbody damage. I had to go for that dive or knock-on because I don't know if there was going to be any other opportunity to go for points. It's, uh... Now we just have to hold on, pretty much. Hope for a P10, maybe. There are some more incidents. I mean, Leclerc put himself in the wall. And... Hopefully a few more people do that. Two red flags, though. And a safety car now. Okay, safety car in this lap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to gain any more positions here. I'm actually going to put my ERS up to hot lap to begin with and see if I can get Magnuson off the start. It's going to be hard with his damage though, he's already pulling away. Yeah, it's not happening. I think this race is literally just going to be defend from Ocon. For the next 30 laps. Yeah. Got it in hot lap still, and it's my battery's just sitting on a hundred percent. there we go. Go away. Oh, we're pulling on Gasly. Gasly's probably got damage from the contact with you there. Um, yeah. Um, he's missing the uh, left hand side end plate. Ah, yeah. One point eight seconds. Alright, so I at least won't be defending from a whole train. I feel like Ocon might have a bit more pace than me. Just a hunch there. Yeah. Okay, mate. We Ocon's not leaving me alone! Oh dear. That was close. I say close, I hit the wall, but not with the side of my car. That's an effort. Oh. Somehow I didn't get a warning for that. I can tell you now, all the content for this episode is in the first six laps. Oh, yeah. Now it's just going to be watch Ben hold Ocon off for 29 laps. I'm losing so much time to the guys ahead, and I'm genuinely actually pushing. Ugh, oh. bit more front wing damage, don't worry about it. That's right. There might be a half a shout that... Um, even yourself could possibly get lapped. You get lapped, yeah. Because the leaders are in the tunnel at the moment. Seriously, that far? Jeez. Yeah. They're going through the kink of the tunnel now. They're probably out of the tunnel by now and going into that chicane. Yeah, okay, so most definitely going to get lapped then. They've done that in, what, 12 laps? Mm. Still 20 to go. Jesus, I just can't slow it down for that. Then you got Russell Piastri there pretty quick. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, nicely done. Do you have to pit after that one? Uh, I'm not going to because that means absolutely no points. Ooh. But uh, yeah, the front right is completely red. Ouch. She'll be right. Question, with the um, front wing damage and on my screen I'll lock up in pretty much every single braking zone. How yep. are those fronts locking, looking at? Let me warm up. Front left is 20, front right is 24. Okay, so they're not terrible. But there are a lot of lock ups. Yeah. It's down. I'm trying to get this car stopped and it just won't. You made the uh, camera have a little bit of a spaz. Uh, what? Okay, you got front wing so, damage. This will have a major impact on are you going to try and stay out? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to. It's a completely <laughs> red front wing. <laughs> You've, just because you won't be able to see it, um, there is no front wing. Yes, I'd imagine so. 
I'd say I'm most definitely gonna get lapped now. But it's fine. It's Monaco. Okay, um... I'm just gonna have to really <laughs> juice if I wanna hold on down the main straight. Pull it up! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was going to tell you what your gap to the leader is, but I'm not, but... I don't think this is happening. <laughs> if this isn't enough evidence that Monaco should be off the calendar, I don't know what is. <laughs> I'm holding on to points with no front wing on the car. But it's a historical track, I don't care! And I'm probably out now. Nope. Oh, yeah, now I'm probably out. Pods have taken damage. So, start to pick up a little bit extra drag. So, safety car. I got a 10 Big second penalty. But Gasly is out. Oh, just in Go case you haven't realized the leaders are behind you. Oh! <laughs> I don't think Verstappen was happy with me. Go for it, Alonso. I'm gonna pit now. Oh, um, Gasly's disqualified. Oh. For parking in a dangerous location. Very good. You should come out in some fresh air. Because the next car on the road is Magnuson. Right, I'm going to see what sort of lap time I can set. Then Try and I'm still think... a fastest lap away from Magnuson? Yes, I doubt I'm going to get it. However, I'm going to give it like one or two push laps. And I think I might strategically retire from the Grand Prix. And save the engine. Fair enough. Because even a safety car or a red flag can't save me now. Hmm. So have a push lap or two, probably destroy my front wing again, and then hit. I doubt I'm gonna set a fast slap because my side pods are currently red. <laughs> oh with damage. Far out, see that? I got nothing. Yeah. I've got <laughs> nothing with that damage. Also, the uh, fastest lap you're chasing is a 11 flat. Oh. Oh. So if your steering wheel says you're 2.8 seconds in the good, then you're on. Does not say that. Oh. Uh. Wall flat. Oh, I need to find another second. Um, yeah, second. It's gone purple in the first sector. Damn, I think it's just about not enough. Oh! 11 1. You have to find 1.5 tenths. Yeah, I'm not finding that. I'm gonna call it now. I'll drive back to the pit lane and do it properly. Alright, here we go. Into the pit lane. Alright, great weekend from us. Double, Ooh, D yeah. double DNF. We beat a Ferrari there. True. In the standings, went 9th and 12th. Constructors were six. Lost some experience, got a bunch of racecraft, lost some awareness, which isn't surprising. Gained a whole bunch of pace, I'm guessing because I set that fast lap. And got a little bit of focus, so I'm halfway through. Overall 69. Couple upgrades in the pipeline before next weekend. Mmm, apparently I've got a new rival. Oh. My it? new rival is Esteban Ocon. Oh. Well, that's the end of the Monaco Grand Prix weekend. I'm just glad that it's finished. I hate this tra track. So I'm glad it's behind us now. In the end, I only ended up losing one point. Because P10 was the best I was going to get. And I don't really mind that much. We still gained in rating overall, and that's what sort of matters. We got Canada next, so that should be a lot better. I'm much better at that track. I actually like that track. And so hopefully it's a better weekend for myself and for Williams as a whole. So be sure to tune in for the next one. See ya.